Okay, busy day for clean flight at the moment. So what we're going to demonstrate now is MSP telemetry. So from the CLI, you can set the uh, telemetry settings. I'm just going to get all the settings that have got telemetry in them. And here we can see that my telemetry provider is now two. So zero is FR sky, one is hot, and two is MSP. What that means is it will send a series of MSP status commands over the port that you decide to use for telemetry um, over to anything that's listening. Um, so this can be useful if you've got, um, I don't know, some custom code which basically wants MSP commands. Uh, there's not many users of it yet. It's not really used that much yet. But still, uh, the functionality exists and it's easy to add it. So I'll also have a quick look at the serial port settings. So I'm going to do get serial here, and this is showing me the serial port scenario. So we can see the first port up here is uh, port 1, and that's set up to use MSP and telemetry on the same port. That's what the 1 there indicates, 2 indicates GPS. So what we're going to do, we're going to exit out of here, and we'll wait for the flight controller to reboot. There it is. So I've got on my auxiliary configuration a button on my transmitter to allow me to arm it and disarm it. And when MSP and telemetry are on the same port, um, the telemetry is enabled when you arm it and disabled when you disarm it, and the MSP stuff is normally disabled. So at the moment I'm connected here to COM7 at 115200 board, and if I arm the flight controller, you will see that that just got disconnected because what has happened is that the port has been reconfigured at a different board rate, which is uh, 19200, and now it's uh, spamming out the telemetry data. So if we get to a program like Putty, for instance, like this one, and hook that up to COM7 at the board rate that it's supposed to be running at, I should, with a bit of luck, be able to get it to connect. There it is. There we go. So basically, this is all the telemetry data, the MSP data being just sent out over the serial port at uh, 19200. We can have a quick look at that just to see it. So basically, anything that wants that data can now uh, read it. And you can have a dedicated port for telemetry as well. So um, actually, if I um, just disarm the quad, what you'll see is that it stops sending the telemetry data. So I'm going to close that and reopen the port there. And we can set it up so that the uh, port configuration, serial port 2, for instance, is telemetry only. So we can set this up here, set port to be 4 I believe, we can have a quick look at that. In the serial configuration in the documentation here there's a list, so 4 is telemetry only, that's over here look. Okay. So if we then save that and exit. Now when I arm and disarm the flight controller, telemetry is sent over the second serial port. So if I had anything wired up to this, I could show you that. But I don't. But I guess, yeah, maybe I can do it. Let's have a quick look. This will be fun. In fact, no, I'm not going to do it. It's too confusing. I've only got one hand. I can't do it. Anyway, so you get the idea. So now there's, there's um, telemetry data coming over a different serial port instead at the same time. There you go. Enjoy.